Online. Now you can watch or listen to select broadcasts on MyWithersRadio.com. Lady Rams Volleyball is powered by the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams. Santerra Bank, banking with local style. Ford Square and King City Chrysler, you can count on us. Community First Bank of the Heartland, welcome back to personal banking. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilk, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto, Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, Raising a Hospital, Raising the Bar. Alan Wiggers, your shelter insurance agent. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. Red Lake College, visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Heartland Accounting, Bean Insurance, Central Christian Church, and People National Bank. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Terwinski in the 94 Sports Mobile Studios for Mount Vernon Lady Rams Volleyball, the Red Lake College pregame show starts now. And good evening from Shagnon Gymnasium tonight. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams entertain the Flora Wolf Gals. It's senior night from the Shag. Chris Hugo, Danny Terwinski alongside, and what a pleasant senior night they've had here for the four outgoing seniors on this Lady Ram Volleyball team. We'll talk more about them throughout this Rinley College pregame show. Of course, at Rinley College, you can save thousands on the career education that is waiting for you. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. Rinley College, it's time. Danny Zawinski alongside on AM 940 and MyWithersRadio.com. I'm Chris Hugo and Danny. The Florida Wolf Gals come into tonight's action. A team out of the Little Illini Conference. Took the Lady Rams, they are 6-15 on the year. They took the Lady Rams to three sets in both the freshman and varsity matches. And looked to be a pretty talented squad out of that OIC. Well, again, that 6-15 record may be a little bit deceiving. Different style of volleyball played in that part of the world. And Florida's a pretty good team athletically all the way around as far as boys and girls sports. I think more or less known for their boys basketball. However, have improved. They've got a good baseball program over there as well. Sectional finalists last year in baseball. And the girls' program is good as well. It's a very tough school. They, they were in the NEC, now in the Little Line Eye. So we're going to see a good brand of volleyball here this evening from these Flora Wolf Gals. Flora Wolf Gals and Mount Vernon Lady Rams coming your way here tonight. We need to take a quick break. When we come back, we will dissect everything there is to dissect about this matchup. This is the Red Lake College pregame show on WMIX. When it comes to bone and joint care, only one name should come to mind. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Your fellowship trained physician's first priority is specialized orthopedic care, ranging from total joint replacement and spine surgery to shoulder surgery and sports medicine. Our surgeons provide a wide range of specialized treatments that are unparalleled anywhere in Southern Illinois. Located on Veterans Memorial Drive in Mount Vernon and St. Mary's with Samaritans in campus, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Discover the difference. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Back to Lady Rams Volleyball, powered by Banterra Bank. And welcome back to a very loud Shagnon Gymnasium. They're ready for senior night. The Malfer and Lady Rams and the Flora Wolf Gals here from the vintage Shagnon Gym. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow with us. Avery Barton is back at the studio. We're live on AM 940 and with video streaming on MyWithersRadio.com. We're glad to have you with us, however you may be accessing this broadcast. Thank you for making us a part of your evening. 6 and 15 are the Florida Wolf Gals this year. The Lady Rams come in, I believe, 9 and 13, 11 and 13. Flora is 6 and 15. I know, Lady Rams. Lady Rams are 9 and 13. 9 and 13, right, the first time. Came in struggling on the year. They had good appearances through a couple of the tournaments this season. But it's been the South 7 Conference that has wreaked havoc on the Lady Rams. Just a couple of wins in the conference. Possessing one over Cahokia, one over Centralia at their place. It's still a, a great chunk of that South 7 schedule to go with matches at both Marion and Carbondale remaining on the conference slate. Yeah, I mean, this is the last home game. And then you start looking at heading down the pike of one more week this week, and then next week before postseason begins in the Heron Regional on a Monday night, the Lady Rams will go to Marion tomorrow night. They'll take a week off. They'll go to Wayne City next Tuesday evening, and then Carbondale a week from Thursday, 
And that is the end of the regular season before a Monday night regional matchup at Heron against the Centralia Any. So this season seemed like it just started the other day. It's almost over. Well, and it's amazing how quickly these fall activities are coming to a close. You're going to have cross-country regional, excuse me, sectionals before long. You have golf sectionals underway today in which we are trying to get you some updates from both Chatham and Mattoon for the Rams and Lady Rams participating in that. And you also have soccer getting ready to come to a regular season close, not to mention football in week eight this week. Yeah, but everything's winding down, as you said. Uh, you know, obviously volleyball and then football in the next couple of weeks. Soccer will begin play, I believe, next weekend. Tennis is this week on Friday at sectionals. And, again, it, it's hard to believe, but, you know, fall season just about wrapped up. Once you get to the end of October, then you start basketball practice. Girls' practice, basketball practice will start, I believe, today is the 10th. I believe that will start three weeks from today. So we're just around the corner from the winter sports. In fact, we were putting together basketball schedules last night, and it's right around the corner here for winter sports to begin and fall sports to end. Of course, so we'll give you a quick State Farm scoreboard update by taking first a look at the underclass matches here tonight. Now, well, in the underclass matches, both won by Mount Vernon in the freshman game. Mount Vernon won 17-21, 21-16, and 15-5. The Lady Rams improved to 12-4 on the JV level. They defeated Florida tonight 16-25, 25-21, and 25-21 to improve their record and go to 12-4 overall in the regular season. And of course, taking a look at Major League Baseball yeah. tonight, we're in the CSs, the championship series. In the AL championship series, Nelson Cruz homers in the bottom of the seventh to tie the game at three, end up in extra innings. Nelson Cruz hits a walk-off grand slam to win at bottom of the 11th for the Texas Rangers, who now have a 2-0 lead over the Detroit Tigers. Meanwhile, the St. Louis Cardinals on 94.1 FM possess a 2-0 lead, getting out of the jam in the bottom of the second over the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers, of course, lead that series 1-0. That scoreboard update is brought to you by your State Farm agent, Tony Wilt, located conveniently here in Mount Vernon, just off of 42nd and South Water Tower Place. Of course, you can check them out worldwide at TonyWilt.com. Like a good neighbor, State Farm. Is there. We'll also have many golf updates throughout the evening for you here on our Tony Wilt scoreboard updates. But this is your Win Lake College pre match show, and we need to take a break. This is Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX. It's amazing how versatile the Saturday sports show has become. What do you mean you slept in last week? Set your alarm for 808 this Saturday morning and junior radio to AM 940. More Mount Vernon Rams talk, more Jefferson County talk, and more amped up coverage of Southern Illinois sports. Hear from the best coaches, experts, and sports know it alls available. Sports talk worth waking up for. Saturday mornings from 808 till 10 a.m. on WMIX AM 940 and online at mywithersradio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. If you're looking for a bank that still has people in the lobby, personally answers your phone calls, and is focused exclusively on Jefferson County, stop by and see us. We have safe deposit boxes, free checking with free internet banking, and debit cards tied to the Mount Vernon Rams, Ina Hornets, and Woodline Cardinals. And coming soon, debit cards tied to St. Mary's Knights with a portion of the revenue generated by your use donated back to your school. We need First Bank at locations in Mount Vernon, Woodline, Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Love the new place, Dave. Hey, thanks for helping with the move. Yeah. So, you get a renter's policy to insure all this cool stuff? Yep. From my dad's shelter insurance agent. It covers theft, liability, water, and smoke damage. Sounds expensive. Nah. With the money I saved, I could have hired a professional mover. Oh, nice. Instead, I'm taking you to dinner. Oh, nice. I'm Alan Wiggers. For a free insurance review, see me at 206 South 9th Street. Go Rams. Hi, this is Jeff Schmidt with Schmidt Chevrolet in Mount Vernon. We proudly offer the Silverado HD, the 2011 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Silverado has the best available V8 4x4 fuel economy of any full-size pickup. It's the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickup on the road. Come visit us. You'll find the best selection we've ever had. Plus rebates as high as $7,000 and the best trading values in the region. Our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff will put you in the Silverado that fits your needs the best. Schmidt Chevrolet in Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway. This is Mike Reeves. You're listening to the Rams on WMIX. Thank you, Michael. We're back at Shagnon Gym, Renly College pre-match show. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski alongside Flora Wolfgals and Mount Vernon Lady Rams. It appears we will honor America here in just a little bit from Shagnon Gym. Of course, to remind you, this pre-game show is presented by Renly College. You can find them online at rlc.edu. To find of which over 100 degree and certificate programs 
is right to you, for you. Get to work. Rin Lake College, it's time. RLC. Dot edu. We're going to wait to see which order we're going to go. Everybody's lined up as if we're going to have the national anthem tonight. 6 and 15 for Wolf Gals, 9 and 13 Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Plenty of volleyball action coming up here at Shagnon Gymnasium. Both the freshman and JV matches went three. We'll see if the Lady Rams varsity team will follow suit. So we'll wait to see what they're going to do here on the public address. Judging by the fact of the national anthem we have, it's only about 90. We'll go ahead and honor America. This is the Red Lake College pre match show on WMIX. It's going to be a nasty winter, so get the vehicle you can depend on now at Second Chance Auto. They have the vehicle you're looking for, probably priced under $10,000, and most have a three-month or 3,000-mile warranty, and there's bank rate financing for everyone. Second Chance Auto has been helping people just like you for over 32 years, so get your quality pre-owned vehicle from Second Chance Auto today. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon, or call 244-4582. That's 244-4582. Does this sound familiar? I can't stand this job. I just wish I had time to go back to school. But with work and family... I know. I just enrolled in Rend Lake College's evening cosmetology program. They have evening classes that will even fit into your busy schedule. You can even graduate in less than two years. Classes are convenient to get to. and They're in Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. They even offer financial aid. What's this like? I've been out of school so long. It's not your typical take notes. Listen to a lecture program. We will learn the latest styles and trends in cosmetology. And it Looks like we'll have fun doing it. We'll be out on the salon floor getting hands-on experience and getting to know all kinds of people. By the time we're done, we'll be ready to jump into a new career and love our job. For once. Okay, how do I sign up? I called 618-242-8459, but you can also check out their website at rlc.edu slash studio rlc or stop by the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. Hello, this is Hunt Bonin with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. As a Southern Illinois family-owned bank, we have stayed true to our roots by offering great products and services to the people in our communities. With free checking, free online banking, and free debit cards, we are helping our customers save money while also providing the safety and security they expect from a community-focused bank. People's National Bank, proudly supporting Southern Illinois. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. You still pay once a month to avoid fees. This is Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX, powered by Banterra Bank. And welcome back, Shaq, Non Jim, Chris Hugo, Danny Zerwinski alongside. It's the Lady Rams host, the Flora Wolf Gals. Glad to have you with us on AM 940 and online at MyWithersRadio.com as we get started in the 8 o'clock hour. Danny's alongside. We'll have your Central Christian Church starting lineups first. We'll meet the Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Ooh, the Lady Rams with a record of 9-13. and 13. We'll start tonight. Number 2, Brooke Moore. Number 6, Lauren Keeler. Number 11, Kelby Cuyaba. 16, Aaliyah Palmer. Taylor McGowan, number 19. Mallory Kirst, number 20. And number 22, Kirsten McGowan. Of course, they will do the switch and the substitute at the beginning of the match for Angie Carroll's Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Taking a look now, also brought to you by Central Christian Church of Flora Wolf Gals. Their head coach is Jessica Hyden, and they will feature everybody. They're going to throw the kitchen sink, including the defensive specialist at its number three, Jesse Sebring, is your defensive specialist. They'll also feature an outside hitter at number 13, Cassie Kennedy. One of the setters here tonight is number 21, Christina Hodges. The other setter, of course, is number four, Stephanie Greenwood, with... Brooke Bales, number five, and Kaylee Heimelick also getting a start for the Florida Wolf Gals. Libero tonight, Mylon Bush King. She wears number 10. These starting lines are brought to you by Central Christian Church in Mount Vernon. Of course, you can find out about all their awesome programming for children and youth. Even watch their services online, the new central.com. Central Christian Church, loving God and loving people. Of course, this is your Renlake College, or was your Renlake College pre match show. We're in Lake College. It's time. RLC.edu. Visit your virtual counselor to see which of the 100 degree and certificate programs is right for you. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the start of this one. This is Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX. When it comes to bone and joint care, only one name should come to mind. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Your fellowship trained physician's first priority is specialized orthopedic care, ranging from total joint replacement and spine surgery to shoulder surgery and sports medicine. Our surgeons provide a wide range of specialized treatments that are unparalleled anywhere in Southern Illinois. Located on Veterans Memorial Drive in Mount Vernon and St. Mary's with Samaritans in campus, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Discover the difference. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Things sure are changing in the Jefferson County banking market. 
Branches are closing, and recent news by Bank of America is they will begin charging for debit cards is not what their customers would like to hear. Well, good news. We still have free debit cards, and our debit cards support Jefferson County Schools. So don't panic. Just stop by and open an account with us. With people who answer the phone and help you with all your banking needs, we're the best banking option in Jefferson County. Beauty First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Back to the 94 Sports Mobile Studios on WMIX. Back here at the vintage and legendary and historic Shagnon Gymnasium. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow with us tonight on MyWithersRadio.com and, of course, AM 940. For Lady Rams volleyball action against the Florida Wolf Gals. The Wolf Gals, of course, will be dressed in their very, very Florida. Florida Gator blue with orange trimmed on the sides, white numerals trimmed in orange. While Lady Rams will be in their traditional white getup with, of course, black trimmed on the sides and orange numerals trimmed in black. Front row for Lady Rams tonight, of course, Kelby Cuiava, Taylor McGowan, Mallory Kirsch. Your libero in the back, of course, will be Brooke Moore. Elliot Palmer gets a start, as does Lauren Keeler. Of course, we met your starters just a moment ago on the Central Christian Church starting lineups, the new Central.com. Here we go. Palmer with the serve to the libero. Butch King down Central. Moore having some trouble out of the get-go, but able to reel a return right back to Moore. Palmer sets up on the far side. Cuiava for the spike and the kill. Came near corner. Lady Rams get a one nothing lead. Is there is nothing Stephanie Greenwood could do to get there? Nope. And Mount Vernon, this is one of those you got to get. You know, you just feel like Mount Vernon being at home, being favored, the bigger school. You feel like Mount Vernon needs to get one here before you head on the road to Marion tomorrow night. Palmer continuing to serve up one love. That's a great set there by Sebring. Having some trouble getting it over. But finally, a connection there from the Wolf Gals. Cuiava returns it for Lady Rams. They're going to set up far side. There it goes. Out of bounds. Goes wide left. And Heimlich had the right idea there. Just pushed it long. And the Lady Rams have a two-love lead. Good start for Mount Vernon. See how this hot start continues for the Lady Rams. Comes left side to the libero there to get it. That was King. Now drops it off far side. Paul, we're able to rescue it up front. Cuiava centers it now. McGowan sends a spike. The King there to rescue it back row. Greenwood, final opportunity, gets it. It is off of McGowan up front. Just goes off of that right wrist. Falls to the floor, and it's 2-1. to one. Wolf Gals cut the deficit in half. A little too much spin carrying over her hand that time. Just couldn't quite get up to it to put it away. Here comes the serve. Jump serve by Hodges. Looking for the name. Here we go. Lady Rams coming on the near side. That was Cuiava. Goes back to her far post. Now awaits the floor return. Great play there on the back row by Mc... by Palmer. Wow. Here we go for the Wolf Gals on the near side. McGowan, great block there at the net. Now pushed over by Palmer. Bush King there. Up front we go. Palmer looking for a block there, Lady Rams. And McGowan able to send it back. And now blocked as the net was Cuiava. Lady Rams able to keep it alive after a couple hits up front. Weren't able to make anything there. It'll be 2-2. Well, again, Mount Vernon was all over that. That ball came off the net, and unfortunately, Mount Vernon couldn't get back in three hits. But still, good active play, but Flores tied the game at two. It'll be Hodges with the serve still here for the Wolf Gals. Tied at two. McGowan looked for the kill up front. Great dig there by King. Pushed it up front. Now far side. Here come the Wolves into the net. The Lady Rams regain the lead up 3-2. I am you have enjoying to be careful. The, I'm, I'm enjoying the alphabetical roster here. Well, you have to be careful of the maneuvers that Heimlich can pull off her floor, though. That's your can. I'll borrow that from our third microphone. <laughs> up 3-2. Here we go. Lady Rams, nice play there on the back row by Larry Barrow Moore. It's a problem up front. Now near side. Keeler gets the kill. Able to split up the defense on that one. Kennedy and Bush King had no answer. It's 4-2. Wolf Gals down a couple here. Should be the Mallory Kirsch serve here for the Lady Rams. As we wait for the Tachikara to return. There it is. Don't tell everybody up north about that. Yeah, they can eat it. Here we go. Kirsch on the serve to the back row. Bush King up front. Now from Kennedy. Pushed it wide right. Ooh, oh. Looked wide from where I sit. Says oh. it's in. He's wrong. It's 4-3. to three. Can we get a challenge on that? Because that ball is out. A little bit. Three serving four here for Flora. Heimlich able to sneak one. Sneak one outside to the right. It's 5-3. to three. Lady Rams up two. Regain the serve. It'll be Brooke Moore. Lady Rams Volleyball, of course, presented by Banterra Bank. Their online bank is convenient, efficient, and best of all, safe. Banterra Bank, banking with local style. 5-3 for Lady Rams. That'll be more on the serve. Back out in the back row. Heimlich, now they drop it off far side. Spike coming. Moore can't handle it. It's off the beam. Saved by Keeler. Will it make it across? It will. Great play there by Kirsten McGowan. And now here comes a spike. Blocked again, McGowan. Far side, Wolf Gals. Now centered, and Kennedy had some trouble there on the far side. 
right into the net. It'll be 6-3. Great play up front by Kirsten McGowan. Yeah, and Mount Vernon, good job up front. Their height's giving Flores some issues up there at the net right now, at least in this particular rotation. Brooke Moore will serve. It's right to the back to Sebring. Spike coming from floor. Great play by the Lady Rams. Center to McGowan from Palmer. Dug out by Heimlich. Sent it up front. Here it comes near side and pushed across. Came from Greenwood. And now Palmer's going to drop it off for Kirsten McGowan. Here it comes. Sent long. It'll be 6-4. And back within two are the Wolf Gals on the unforced Lady Ram air. Six serving four here. The Flora Wolf Gals on the service. That was Kennedy right down central to Kirsch. Up front, Palmer looking to set up near side. Here it comes Keeler. Sends it long. 6-5 and back within one are the Wolf Gals. Bantera Bank is the official voice of the Mountford and Rams and Lady Rams. You can check them out online at BanteraBank.com. Bantera Bank, Bank is local style. Serve goes right to Moore there on that far side. The Palmer now sent over near side by Cuiava on the return. And there was Heimlich there looking for the bump pass up front. It went off of her wrist, and it went towards the near corner where it fell. It'll be 7-5, to five Lady Rams. Two-point advantage. Got to get the serve back. It'll be Quel Kelby Cuiava. Right down central it goes to Heimlich. Has some trouble with it. Give and go to Heimlich. Now in the back there was Cuiava up front far side. Here comes Keeler near side. Heimlich gives it a dive. It's punched back. Three hits on Flora. Great attempt there by the setter Hodges, but all she did was punch it right back to Heimlich on the back row. She had nothing going. It'll be 8-5, Lady Rams. Now here comes Cuiava's serve right down central. Great bump there. In the back row, Lady Rams have some trouble. It goes off a curse in more, and then Cuiava can't get to it there in the back. And now the Wolf Gals will regain the service down to it's 8-6. to six. And it seems this is going to be a tight one, just like the freshman and JB had went three sets. We'll see how she goes tonight, that's for sure. Here comes the floor serve. Palmer with it up front, drops it off. Kirsten McGowan, spike comes. Greenwood will look to make something happen. It's over to the far side. Bush King pushes across. Moore there. Sends it to Palmer, far side. Now back to Keeler, blocked to the net. Moore's there, but then it is a spike coming just long by Brooke Bales as she sent it towards the left side. Out of bounds, 9-6. Lady Rams back up three. Good for Mount Vernon to get that, break that serve and get it back. Defense very good there for Mount Vernon on that particular play. Lauren Keeler with the service down central to Bush King. Greenwood's going to drop it off for Bales, but Kirsch was there for the spike, sends it long. And back within two are the Lady Rams. Kirsten McGowan with a couple big blocks earlier at the net, making a case of your community first bank of the Heartland player of the match. Three blocks already here in this first set. Bush King will service a libero for Flora. To her counterpart, Brooke Moore in the back row. Palmer gets the kill at the net. And it's 10-7, to 7, Lady Rams. Great traditions aren't given. They're earned through hard work and commitment. That's just what they believe in at Community First Bank. Proud sponsors of the Lady Rams. A great tradition. It's Cheyenne Morgan, who's been out such a long time with a broken ankle. She's taped up raring to go here on senior night. But she will make her first appearance here at Shagnon Gymnasium in quite a while. She has a 10-7 lead as she takes over the service. Here we go. Down central it goes to Kennedy. Blocked to the net. Older McGowan. Three hits on floor as it goes into the net right side. Lady Rams pick up a point. It's 11-7. Six out of 11. Mount Vernon getting points off their serve. The old and McGowan switch. Nicely. The old McGowan switch. Rue pays off. As now Taylor's paying off. Flora with some trouble at the net. It's out of bounds off of Lady Rams. There was a great play by Greenwood trying to make something happen. Lady Rams went up for a block, hit the fingertips, went out of bounds, and it'll be 11 to eight. As Flora picks up the point, and now Sebring will serve. Trailing 11-8 are the Wolf Gals here at Shag Non Gym. She's going to try to drive it in and get a point. We'll see what she accomplishes here. There it was. It gets the point on the unforced air. Cuiava goes for the dive on the near side in the back row. And there in the back court, it just goes wide off of her hands. It'll be 11-9 and back within two are the Wolf Gals. Jump serve coming from Sebring. There it is down central off of Keeler. Cuiava picks it up, leaves it for more with all of her might there on the back row. Flora sets something up on the far side. It's into the net from number 13, Kennedy. Lady Rams regained the serve up 12-9. And speaking of Sebring, we have a timeout brought to you by King City Chrysler Center here in Mount Vernon where the best never rest. Check out the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee only at Ford Square and King City Chrysler here. You can count on us. That's, of course, in Mount Vernon. 12-9, your score here at the first timeout of this varsity set. 12-9, Lady Rams on top. They took... Both the freshman and varsity matches in three sets, trying to get it in straight sets here. 
against the Florida Wolf Gals out of the Little Illini Conference. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside Jeff Crow with us on AM 940 and MyWithersRadio.com. Well past the top of the hour, we will tell you. This is AM 940, Mount Vernon, a free service of Withers Broadcasting worldwide. You can find us at MyWithersRadio.com. 12-9 out of the timeout for the Lady Rams. It'll be Palmer with the serve. And here we go. Lady Rams, of course, right to left, and that serve right into the net. 12-9, or 12-10 it becomes, as the Wolf Gals will pick up the service. Serving percentage dropping from Mount Vernon. That's starting out 3 for 4. Now it's 6 out of 12 getting points off their serve. Hodges will serve. Number 21 on the roster, which is one of the higher numbers, but in the middle thanks to the alphabet. McGowan pushes across for Lady Rams. Sebring sends it up front. Right to Hodges. It's off of Heimelich. And that maneuver fails to pay off for Flora. It's 13-10. Sometimes that happens. Choke right off your hands and nothing you can do about it. Yep. Cough it up sometimes. 13-10. Yep. And now a block coming from... Uh, yep, yep. Galvick Riava has called was, a lift. I think it was a good call. She had that volleyball in her fingertips, and the rotation actually stopped. She pushed down on it. I think it was a good call by the official. And now Heimelik will serve, trailing 13-11 to 11, the Wolf Gals. Send it in the backcourt. It will go off a of Keeler. Saved by Cuiava. Center to Taylor McGowan. Knocks it across far side. Now Greenwood looking to set up on that far side. Kennedy into the net. It was blocked. And a great recovery there by Bales to wow. get it back to Kennedy. On the spike and the kill. It will be 13-12 and back within one of these Wolf Gals. Yeah. Flora's not going away. It was a tough game last year at Flora between these two teams. And again, expect nothing different here tonight. And it showed off so far. Heimlich on the serve, comes near side to Keeler. Up front, Palmer drops off Taylor McGowan, push long, we're tied. 13-13, we are tied here, as this is no one-woman wolf pack. These are the Florida Wolf Gals, and they tie it up with a much bigger. <laughs> Flora's on a 4-0 run. Wolf pack's forever. 13-13 in the backcourt, here we go on the Lady Rams. Palmer drops it off for Keeler, who has blocked the net. And it'll go out of bounds off of Mallory Kirsch. It'll be 14-13, Flora. Ooh. That'll happen. It is a close one here tonight. We're glad to have you with us here on WMIX and online at MyWithersRadio.com with high-quality video. Here comes the Heimelik serve. It was to Moore. Now Palmer up front. Dropped it off Cuyaba. She'll get the kill. They're reaching up. Was number three, Jesse Sebring. But it goes off her hand straight to the floor. And we'll be back at a tie of 14. 14-14. 14, 14. Brooke Moore, the libero, will serve. Sends a ride over the net. Kennedy on the return. Dug out by Palmer. Now to Cuyava. Sends it over near side. Keeler looking for the kill. Great dive. Heimlich pushed over Greenwood. Out of bounds to the right. It'll be 15-14. And the Lady Rams back on top for the first time in a little bit. Pantera Bank, the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams. Don't bank on the away team. Bank, go green. With Pantera's online bill pay and online statements. Pantera Bank, banking with local style. Serve to Heimlich. Wow. And all she can do is dig on the reaction. Sends it wide left. It'll be 15-14. 16-14. Big Later serve. Ends up too. Big serve that time. And Mount Vernon, this is a tough match. It's a good one for Mount Vernon to have going to that Marion game tomorrow night. Nice as you brag on the serve what happens. There you go. Into the netty it goes. And it's 16-15. Wolf Gals a chance to tie here. Cassie Kennedy will serve. Or she pissed herself towards the left of the, the free throw lane. The Lady Rams looking to return. Kirsch to Keeler, back to Kirsch down central. Greenwood there. Now back on the left side. It's pushed long. No, it's just in on that left side. Great kill there for number 13, Cassie Kennedy, and able to make something out of nothing. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i like you. There's been a couple calls in the JV and now this one, where you and I have thought the ball was the opposite of what the officials are seeing. And the Lady Ram will turn. We'll go just wide to the right after the Kennedy serve. It's 17-16. Flora back on top in this teeter-totter affair. Serve from Kennedy. Looks good. Lady Rams have some trouble on the return. It goes into the net. Palmer can't get to it. It's 18-16. Quick scoreboard update for the St. Louis Cardinals. Lead the Milwaukee Brewers 4 to nothing in the bottom of the third. More on some scores here in just a moment. Palmer looking for the turn, sets up Kirsten McGowan, looking for the kill. Great play, Kennedy. Now Hodges leaves it for Bales. And they're diving for it in the backcourt is Ms. Moore, the senior. She can't come up with it. Now down three of the Lady Rams. Interesting that Floor after that timeout is really taking it to Mount Vernon. 
out to a three-set lead, and the serve comes up, and it goes below the net. That helps. Comes up just short. Congratulations to Nick Tannehill at the sectional today at Governor's Run. A one over par, 73. That's amazing. He's going to state. It's one of my favorite golf courses, and he had a tough place to shoot a one over. For the Woodlawn Cardinals, it is. Congratulations. Far side, here we go on the return flora. Lady Rams looking to muster something. Keeler on the near side. Cuiava, last chance. Gets it over. It goes off the of Greenwood, then Hodges below the net. 18-19. Lady Rams are back within one. That was a crazy point. How Mount Vernon got it over and set stuff up, I have no idea. That scoreboard update was brought to you by Tony Wilt State Farm Insurance. More after the Cuiava serve. That's just long. Great Ooh. play there. By number 23, Heimlich to let it go. For all your insurance financial service needs, it's your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. He's here in Mount Vernon on 42nd South Water Tower. Or check him out worldwide at TonyWilt.com. And if you see that red Jeep in the parking lot, stop by. He'd love to meet with you. Serve comes from Greenwood. It's to Cuiava. Now centered. Palmer drops it off. Kirsten McGowan punched by Greenwood. Back to Levitt. And now four hits on the Wolf Gals as Heimlich couldn't get it over. Levitt hit it one more time for good measure. And the Lady Rams within one, 20 to 19. Need some serves out of Miss Keeler right here. Need to get a run here this late stage of the first set. Need to get some points. Lauren Keeler, the senior with aspirations of playing at Greenville. Got the serve across. Great return by Bush King. And now Palmer drops it off Kirsch. She sends it just long. That's the end. That was the end. Looks like it was just long and uh -huh. wide, to, or not long, but wide to the right. But the Lady Rams will get the point. 20 20. Nope. Good vision by the official I'll on say, that particular perfect vision point. by you yeah. on that one. Side at 20, here comes the Keeler serve. Down central, Heimlich's there to Greenwood. Now near side, Bales. Great play there by Moore on the back row. Here we go, Kirsten McGowan sends it long. Flores back on top, 21-20. Kirsten McGowan still a person of interest in the community first bank of the Heartland player of the game watch. 21-20 as Bush King will serve. Mylan Bush King, where's number 10? It's to Cuiava, number 11. Up to Palmer, now near side, Kirsch. King on the return. Nobody there to get it here on the near side. Levitt had some trouble with it. We're tied at 21. Of course, great traditions aren't given. They're earned through hard work and commitment. That's what they believe in at Committee First Bank of the Heartland. Proud sponsors of the Lady Rams, a great tradition. 21-21. It's reached a fever pitch here at Shagnon Gym in this first set of the varsity match. It's Morgan. Knocks one into the net. It's 22-21. And yeah, we're that, go back to four. And Mount Vernon's only got a 50% service ratio tonight after on points. Right now, 9 out of 18 getting points off their serve. Woof. Gal. <laughs> That'd be Wolf Gal. Oh, I okay. said Woof. Yeah. Well, in some parts of the world, that is Wolf. 22 21 on the serve. That was Sebring. Lady Rams trying to muster a turn. It's into the net. A little bit of Plinko there. Might mean a timeout, Mount Vernon. This timeout's brought to you by Ford Square. Check out the all-new redesigned 2011-2012 Ford Explorer. You may not recognize it. The all-new 2012 Ford Explorer only at Ford Square of Mount Vernon, where the best never rest. 23-21, your score. Wolf Gals lead the Lady Rams here at Shagnod Gym. And Danny Zerwinski joins me alongside. I'm Chris Hugo. Jeff Grill here with us as well. Avery Barton back at the studio. Danny, Lady Rams has shown signs of brilliance tonight, but in the same token... They've shown the opposite of that as well. Yeah, and Mount Vernon started out hot. It's been a choppy ball game, and again, Mount Vernon can't find their stride here. They get something going, and they do something to themselves. And again, it's a floor is a tough match. Down 23-21, our Lady Rams, and there comes another one. Set point there as Sebring gets the ace right off of that back row, and she's going to go for the kill here. No pun intended, 24-21, set point. Interesting. Jesse Sebring, the defensive specialist, creating a little offense here tonight. And here we go on the jump serve okay. into the net. It's 24-22, but it remains set point. Good jinx. Radio jinx still alive and well when you said that. You betcha. Not necessarily intended, but I had to. Sometimes it, no, it really wasn't. Okay. And here comes Leah Palmer down 22-24. Sebring's there looking to send up front. Greenwood out of bounds. And the Lady Rams are within one down 23-24 looking to make a go of it here. They're going to depend on Palmer big. Just remember even one into the net will end this contest. At least this set. Send it to Bush King on the back row. Up front Greenwood looks for the setup on the far side. Kennedy right to Keeler. Up front Palmer. Now on the near side here comes Kirsch. Sends it long. Mallory Kirsch sends it long. That'll be the end of our first set. 
25-23. The Wolf Gals, the victors. Second set action coming up from Shagnon Gym. We'll take a break. This is Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. It's going to be a nasty winter, so get the vehicle you can depend on now at Second Chance Auto. They have the vehicle you're looking for, probably priced under $10,000, and most have a three-month to 3,000-mile warranty, and there's bank rate financing for everyone. Second Chance Auto has been helping people just like you for over 32 years. So get your quality pre-owned vehicle from Second Chance Auto today. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon or call 244-4582. That's 244-4582. If you or a loved one experience chest discomfort, pain, heaviness, shortness of breath, we at Good Samaritan Regional Health Center want you to know that every second counts. I'm Freddy Shemsham. I'm an interventional cardiologist and a vascular medicine specialist. American Heart Association guidelines uh, recommend that uh, the door to balloon should be at uh, no more than 90 minutes. Here at Good Sam, we have averages 69 minutes. We have a 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, experienced staff on call, including a uh, intervention cardiologist who are ready to respond to any emergency that presents. Every second loss is precious heart muscle at risk. You have a first-class heart center right in your own backyard where patients have access to the most advanced treatment available. For more information about our physicians and heart services, call toll-free 1-888-257-6098. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, close to your heart, close to home. More Lady Rams Volleyball ahead, powered by Bankera Bank. We're back in time for second set action here at Shagnon Gym. Lady Rams fall in the first set by a final score of 25-23. Now look to force a deciding third set here in set number two. Of course, Lady Rams Volleyball is presented by Banterra Bank. Don't bank on the away team. Bank for the locals. Banterra locally owned and operated. Banterra Bank, banking with local style. Member FDIC. Here comes the first service. That'll come from Hodges to the back row Keeler. Dug out from under the net, Palmer, and she was under the net, so it'll be one nothing Wolf Gals. Hey, you mentioned, too, senior night. you got a lot of emotions going on, and, you know, Lady Rams seniors all playing, three of the four playing. It's a little tough to get focused after an emotional night. You know you're playing your last game here as Flora kicks one in the net to tie the game up at one. But, again, you got to get your head focused on now. Enough of that should be gone, and emotions should be ready to play here. Hodges one into the net, as Danny said. We're tied at one. Kirsch will serve for Lady Rams. Sends it over towards the right. Greenwood with it. Up front, Hodges now back to Greenwood on the give and go. It's off of Moore, back row, out the door. It'll be 2-1, to one, Flora. <laughs> Quick scoreboard update for you in the world of golf. Unfortunately, no Rams or Lady Rams advanced to the state level from the sectional today. Jarrett Brewer of Marion wins the Chatham sectional with a 68. Yikes. And here we go. We'll tell you about Tony Wilde after this play. 2-1, Flora. McGowan looking for the kill there. Great rescue by number three, Sebring. And now Greenwood brings it over. Kirsch is there for the dig, able to get to Palmer. Center now far side. Keeler in the net. It's 3-1. to one. Flora yeah. on top. Tony Wilt, your State Farm insurance agent. Visit him on South Water Tower Place and 42nd Street in Mount Vernon or online at TonyWilt.com. Or if you see that Jeep in the parking lot, stop in. He'd love to meet you with you. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. On the serve, Lady Rams looking to make something happen. McGowan finally gets the cross. Third opportunity. Heimlich up front. Hodges near side. Kennedy blocked. Let us off the Lady Rams on their side. Like Flora picks up another point. They're up 4-1. Yeah, to one. A lot of momentum right now with the Wolf Gals. They just are playing some very good volleyball here tonight. Howling at the moon here in Shagna, Jim. 4-1 your score. Wolf Gals on top. Heimlich down the left side. Keeler up front. Palmer leaves it for Cuiava. Pushed it across. Great play by Cuiava. Nothing going. Now punch across by Taylor McGowan. And now older McGowan gets the kill. And it's 4-2. to two. Lady Rams back within a deuce. As we'll have the McGowan E. McGowan switch. Kirsten comes in for Taylor. So a little youth for youth comes in for the veteran. Well, the switch needs to happen. Serving. Mount Vernon needs to get something going. Serving has not been a strong point at times this year and again here tonight. As Moore pushes one long and to the left. Five to two now, a three point ball game set, I should say. Lady Rams on the ugly side of the five two deficit. Flora will serve. 
That is Kennedy. Sends it here to the near side. Moore calls for it. Gets it. Sends it to Cuiaba. Back to Moore. Swings it across. Sebring is there to Hodges. Now back on the near side. Kill coming. Possibly Greenwood. No, great play there by Cuiaba. After she got it from Palmer. Far side. Keeler. And now Heimelick to Hodges. Near side. It'll be Greenwood pushing it across. Kirsch is there for the set. Falls to Palmer. Great play by Kirsten McGowan. She finished it off, but right there was Heimelick, and now out of the net is Bales. She'll knock it down, Man. and it's 6-2. to two. Flora's had every answer here tonight. Mount Vernon's kind of been a step behind or a rotation behind, and Flora's made him pay. Of course, Cardinals lead the Brewers 5 to nothing in the top of the third. Here comes a serve. It's long from Flora Kennedy. And it's 6-3. to three. Lady Rams battling back with an unforced error on Flora. Sean Markham starting for Milwaukee tonight. That's this is a, the one you got to get. Yes. Sean Markham is one you pick on and get back to St. Louis. Speaking of pick on, Cuiava finds her woman, sends it to her. It's out of bounds on the serve. It'll be 6-4. to four. Lady Rams back within two. And with that being the case, Chris, when you find a weak spot, you got to keep going after it. To clarify, send it to Hodge. Hodge couldn't set it properly, and then... Lady Rams get the point. So Cuiava serves again, but then Flora has the last laugh. That's Gina Shadwell's into the game, the outside hitter, and gets it to the outside, gets the kill. It's 7 to 4, Flora. It's a rough little thing there that time from Flora. Putting it in like that down that right side of the Ram Lady Rams defense. Hot in here at Jagnaw Gym. 7 to 4 the score. Lady Rams trail Moore, almost got the field goal. Right there from the Elks younger age division, free throw line, free throw line. Yeah. Thing there. <laughs> and it's now 8-4 to four Flora. Lady Rams Volleyball Course, as always, presented by Bantera Bank. Banking with local style. They are the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams. This Greenwood serve goes right into the net, so new life breathed into the Lady Rams here. Now down only three. Lady Rams need to get something serve-wise going. That's going to be the key to them getting back in this ball game. Five serving eight for the senior Lauren Keeler. Back row to Heimelick. Over on the far side, Bales rescues. Greenwood knocks it over the net. Palm looks to set up McGowan up front, pushes it across. There's Greenwood. McGowan gives it right back. Dug out by Heimlich. Up front, Greenwood. Knocks it for Bales. Bales will send it long, and it's 8-6. to six. Lady Rams within a deuce. Much better. Just got to get some, got to get a roll going here. Four, five, six, seven points in a row for Mount Vernon. Now Keeler will serve. Sends it right down the middle. Heimlich to Shedwell. Now on the near side, there it goes from Levitt. Cuiava leaves it. Cuiava left it for what we thought was going to be Brooke Moore, but the old husband and wife there between Brooke Moore yep. and Kirsten McGowan, it falls dead. And Flora picks up another point and regains the serve. Communication in every sport is important, and just like that in volleyball, two people watch a ball drop because they're not talking. Now 9-6, to six, Bush King with the serve. Had some top spin on that as it falls to Cuiava. She goes for the dive, sends it to the right. It'll be 10-6 Flora, and they can really use some points here from Milan Bush King. From a right-handed ser server, that had a little draw on it and was going away from the defender. It bit back, there's no doubt. Here comes. Knuckle puck time and in the net. 10-7, Lady Rams back within three. Pretty first bank of the Heartland player of the match is coming to you in the Bean Insurance Post Game Show. Committee First Bank of the Heartland, of course, with more locations in Jefferson County than any other bank. Check them out. Woodlawn, Mount Vernon, or Ina. Committee First Bank of the Heartland. Proud sponsors of the Rams. As the Lady Rams will pick up a point. Back within two, 10 to 8. Send it to the back row of Flora, and they can't muster anything on the return. It goes out of bounds, and Lady Rams regain or maintain the serve here from Cheyenne Morgan. Yeah. Need a lot out of her. I know she's back off a broken ankle. It's pushed across. Lady Rams dig it out of the net. Great play there. McGowan sends it back. Bush King up front. Now for Shedwell. Excuse me, that was Levitt. Here in the near corner, it's Morgan. Swung across by Palmer on the near side. Up front, Greenwood leaves it for Heimelick. Off of Heimlich on a potential block to the back row. It went Kennedy. Now Palmer looking for the spike from Taylor and McGowan. It comes. It goes right on the line. But it's out. From my view, which is to the right of where you're seeing, it was... Just outside the line. That's why we have different perspective and different eyeballs. Yeah. We get it right. 11 to 8 is your score. Flora picks up the point. We're not afraid to concur up here and trade off. Jesse Sebring will serve with Brooke Moore coming back in for Taylor and McGowan. So for the Lady Rams, it's Kirsch Palmer. Taylor and McGowan as I've struggled to find her. And it's going to be sent out of bounds on the near side. So we'll recap who we have out there now that I see everybody. 
Kelby Cuyava, Taylor McGowan, Mallory Kirsch, Aliyah Palmer, Brooke Moore, and Lauren Keeler. For the Lady Rams, Palmer will serve down 9-11 here, set two of the varsity match. Lady Rams fell in the first one, 25-23, after leading much of the way. Sebring sends it near side. Kennedy's going to drop it off. Heimelin maneuvered it across. That's been worn out. Now McGowan's going to send it back to the back row. Flora looking to make something happen. It goes to Heimlich, blocked by McGowan. Out of bounds off of Flora. And back within one are the Lady Rams, 10-11. Now McGowan's been a force at the net. Four blocks, three kills. And Mount Vernon somehow, and we don't know how because Mount Vernon's not had the best game here so far, only down one, 10 to 11. Palmer will service for these Lady Rams. Not going away, trying to come back. It just clears the net. Nearly out of bounds, saved by Flora. They just get it across, but it goes wide right off of Sebring. And we're tied at 11. Lady Rams Volleyball presented by Banterra Bank. Their online bank is convenient, efficient, best of all safe. Their security is your best defense. Banterra Bank, banking with local style. Tied at 11. Aliyah Palmer will serve. Sends it down central. Great reaction by Sebring. The set up front came from a pass Greenwood. Kennedy oh. able to get it across. Curse, er, Mallory Kirsch with the save. Lady Rams able to return. Now sent long on the return by Flora. Kennedy sends it just long. Lady Rams on top. First time this set, 12-11. Nice to see Mount Vernon battle back. Maybe not playing the best game right now, but still battling hard in this one. Very nice job by Mount Vernon to regain the lead. Aliyah Palmer will continue to serve up 12-11. to It's been her serve that got the Lady Rams here. And now Sebring with a spike to Keeler. Just misses a beam. Kirsch catches up with it. It's going to be up to Taylor and McGowan on nice. the return. Gets it over. Bush King there. Sends it up central. Now far side. Levitt with a left hand. Up front it is Cuyava to bring it across. Bush King on the dig. Nearly blocked the net. Levitt gets it over. Redirected by McGowan. Bush King on the dig. Here we go. That's four four. Hits. I was going to say. That was four hits by my count. It went, it went Levitt. I thought I saw Greenwood. And then I thought I saw... It touched somebody before Bush King. It was four. Uh-uh. I'm arguing with Mr. Crow down here. There was a block and then three hits and four hits. Well, hey, either oh. way, a point Lady Rams up 13-11. Mm -hmm. Coming near side for Cuyava looking for a kill. Greenwood on a great return. Taylor McGowan got a piece of it. Left it for a give and go with Palmer. McGowan sends it into the net. And it's 13-12. The Wolves, Wolf Gals, rather, back within one. Maybe we can look at that on instant replay. Yeah, we'll. And then it's a replay that. does show that it was four hits. <laughs> Hardy chuckle coming from down below. And right here. Wolfgau's serve was from Sebring. Cuyava looking to send it. Pushes it long. We're tied at 13. Tied at 13 from Shagnon Jim. Set number two of this varsity match. Lady Rams lost the first. 25-23. Sebring, excuse me, that is Hodges. Moore on the back row up to Palmer. He's going to leave it for McGowan. Pushed across. There's Hodges again. Pushed to the near side, Kennedy. And now Moore on the back row. Kirsch got it. Not sure what happened with Kirsch there. She was in the net, out of the net, under the net, over the net, about the net. That's 14-13 Wolfgals. And this time out presented by Ford Square, King City Chrysler Center. The all-new 2011 Ford Fiesta up to 40 miles per gallon highway. It's kind of a big deal. Ford Square, where the best never rest. Dane Zerwinski alongside. I'm Chris Hugo. We'll pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. The best Rams broadcast coverage is right here. AM 940, WMIX, Bob Burden, and worldwide at MyWithersRadio.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. Called into question yesterday, Albert Pujols has four of the five Cardinal runs mm -hmm. batted in tonight against Milwaukee as they lead five to nothing, bottom of the fourth. That'll pad about to about $28 million a year. It might. Of course, Lady Rams win the freshman match 17 21, 21 16, 15 5. We'll tell you more scores as the Hodges serve comes. On the far side, Palmer centers it to McGowan, punched across by Hodges. Great dive there by Keeler. Pushed off by Taylor and McGowan. Now Green will look to set up Heimelich. She gets it across. It's 15 13 Flora. Lady Rams win the JV match 20, 16 25, 25 21, 25 21. They fall in the first set 23. 25 here in the varsity match. Now trailing 13-15, make it 14-15 as the Hodges serve is right in the net. That scoreboard update was presented by Tony Wilt of State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, of course. Find them online at TonyWilt.com or right here in Mount Vernon at 42nd Street and South Water Tower Place. The Kirsch serve sent to the far side. Heimlich 
Sent a spike coming this way. Would have just been inside. Palmer, the right move there to go after it, but sends it to the right out of bounds. It'll be 16-14 Flora. Make that 5-2 Cardinals. It's Ricky Weeks homers to deep left, scoring Prince Fielder. Yikes. Can't have that as Palmer centers to Kirsch. Gets it across. There is Sebring over to Kennedy. Now Hodges brings it with a swing. Back row, it's Moore. Up front, Palmer finds Keeler. Dug out on the back row. Hodges leaves it up front. Great push there by Bales. And now Lady Rams looking for the last lap. Cuiava got it over. Bales sent it across. Great nice. dig there by Keeler. Palmer's going to send it to Cuiava. And it's out of bounds off of the Wolfpack. Wolf Gals at 16-15 their lead. But Lady Rams gets a serve down one. Really would like to see Mount Vernon get on a roll. Brent Moore is the one that needs to do this to get Mount Vernon about six, seven points in a row or more. Wolf Gals playing with it in the back court. Heimlich finally got it across. Now Keeler on the far side pushes it there to Heimlich. Hodges going to set up Greenwood on the far side. Point goes to the Lady Rams. Is into the net. We're tied at 16. Very close two sets. Very close. Most points separating the two teams is about three points both sets so far. More serve will go left side just out. It'll be 17 wow. 16 Wolf Gals. You know, Danny, I have that kind of that left perspective, and it was out. It was? Yep. Hmm. Unfortunately. I tried. 16 serving okay. 17, or 17 out. serving 16. Lady Rams on the ret Kennedy return. And now it's going to be up to the back row to get across. That was Heimelik. And now pushed across by Keeler on the give from Palmer up front. Greenwood digs it near side. Great return there by the Wolf Gals. That was Shadwell, but Lady Rams can't muster a turn. They trail by 2, 18 16. Just choppy. I would describe Hot. this game as choppy from the Lady Rams Hot perspective. Here. here comes the service by Kennedy to the back row. Keeler up front. Palmer's going to leave it for Cuiava. Ooh, sends it through the uprights. It kind of clanked off the right one in the form of Shadwell. And then falls dead to the floor. It's 18-17. Lady Rams down one. They get to serve. Help make your kids' future a victory by teaching them to save at the Banterra Smart Kids Savings Account. Banterra Bank, banking with local style. 17 serving 18 from Cuiava. Blocked at the net, but it goes off of the Lady Rams. Point to floor. It's 19-17, their lead. Go time now. It's go time. Got to stay at this point back. It's a serve back. Get down one and go. Greenwood will serve for the Wolf Gals. Up 19-17. We have it there. Now to Palmer to Kirsten McGowan. Able to float one across. Bales will return. Sends it long. 19-18 and back within one. Our Lady Rams courtesy of Banter of Bank. Thank you with local style. Don't forget, they're the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams. If you're watching on MyWithersRadio.com, log on to BanterraBank.com. Check them out. 18 serving 19 from Keeler. Here it comes. Blocked the net. Looks like McGowan got it twice. The first one was a block, so it's okay. It's 20 to 18. Flora with the volleyball and the serve. Bush King on the jump serve. Here it comes. Right to Criava in the middle. Coming near side. Palmer's going to set up Kirsch. Sends a spike across. Greenwood there to dig it out. Over to Hodges. Now Shedwell gets it across. Palmer to Kirsten McGowan in the middle. Plankety plank, plank, plank. It goes right off of Heimlich. Falls to the floor. Lady Rams is in one, 19 to 20. Yeah, again, over and over. It's time for Mount Vernon to do something. Get on a roll. Cheyenne Morgan comes back in to serve. Down 19 to 20. Just clears the net. Shedwell on the give and go with Greenwood. Right back on the near side. Cuiava to Palmer. Leaves it for Kirsten McGowan. Just try the net. It's 21-19 Flora. Woof. Yeah. Just can't, you know, it just seems like Mount Vernon can't get anything going. It's one, one step forward, two steps back. Put them together. Yep. Opposites attract. And you know. 21-19 as Sebring will serve. Right down central off a of more out of bounds. It'll be 22-19 Flora. Who will be your community first bank of the heartland player of the game? That remains to be seen at this juncture, but we can tell you that great traditions aren't given. They're earned through hard work and commitment. That's just what they believe in. Community first bank of the heartland, proud sponsors of the Rams. 
A great tradition. Timeout on the floor. It's 22-19 in set two of this varsity matchup. Flora's on top, looking for the sweep in straight sets at Shagnon Gym. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski on WMIX AM 940 online at mywithersradio.com. As we have the pan on the scoreboard right now on the internet. 22-19 as you can see with online video at mywithersradio.com courtesy of Jeff Crow. Sebring will serve as that timeout was brought to you by Ford Square King City Chrysler. Check out that Ford Fiesta with up to 40 miles per gallon highway. Talk about value. Ford Square speaks it. Serve comes near side out of bounds. It'll be 22-20 and back within deuce to the Lady Rams. And that's been the whole game. In spite of Mount Vernon not having their best game, Flora has done some things to let them in the ball game. And this is another opening for Mount Vernon. Can they go through and take a lead? Palmer served to Sebring. Pushed right back by Cuyavas. It just cleared the net. Heimelick, the battle at the net, almost won by McGowan. Pushed across. It's going to have to be dug out of the net, and Cuyava can't. It'll be 23-20. Great attempt by Kelby Cuyava. Just goes into the net. Nothing yep. she could do about it. That's too long. It's underneath and couldn't dig it back out. Now, Mount Vernon in some trouble again. 23-20. Hodges will serve for the Wolf Gal. Sent it over to that right side off of Keeler. Out of bounds. It's match point. Match point for the Wolf Gals. This match has been presented by Banterra Bank, banking with local style, the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams. Check them out online at BanterraBank.com. They're online banking, convenient, and efficient, best of all, safe. Match point, here it comes, the back row, it's more. McGowan, now Keeler, last chance. Sebring sent it up front to Hodges. Heimelick got it over, touched by Cuyava. McGowan rescued it. Now coming from the near side, a spike attempt into the net by Kennedy. Lady Rams a bit of a reprieve as they're down 3, 24-21, yet still match point as Kirsch will serve. A bit of a reprieve, but no room for error the west of the way. Serve is right to Bush King there in the back. To Hodges, near side it coming to Heimelick. More on a great dig to Palm, or excuse me, McGowan up front. Hodges looks back to the near side for Kennedy. It's out. And it'll be 24-22. Great play by Brooke Moore to let it go. It's out. The Lady Rams are back within Deuce, making it close. Still match point. Here it comes from Kirsch on the serve to Bush King again. Hodges leaves it near side. Spikes it in the net by Greenwood. Point Lady Rams are within one, making it close. Still one match more. point. Got to get to one more, though. Give you some error. Get some room for an error here. You can exhale if you get to 24 and yes. tie it. Kirsch is serve on match point. Right to Bush King. They fight for it to the ground. No communication on the back court by Sebring and Bush King. And we're tied at 24 with this timeout. Brought to you by Ford Square King City Chrysler. Check out the all-new redesigned Jeep Grand Cherokee of King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway Street. In Mount Vernon. We're tied at 24. Set two of this varsity matchup. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski on WMIX. Online at MyWithersRadio.com. And wait for the Lady Rams to battle back here. Yeah, and Mount Vernon, the key has been not only serving to get back in, but Flora, again, continues to make those little mistakes to keep Mount Vernon in the ball game. Kirsch will continue to serve, making a case to be your player of the game with these bailouts here near the end. 24-24, set number two, looking to force a third. It's right back to Bush King, but it's sent long, and now it's match point again. 25-24, Wolf Gals. Man, had him on the ropes and let him get off again. Eh? Can you get the serve back? We'll see. It'll be Heimelick serving for the Wolf Gals. At match point, 25-24, it's to Brooke Moore. Up front by design to Palmer. It'll be out of bounds. Unforced error off of... Aliyah Palmer, and that's your final 26-24. We'll have the Beat Insurance postgame show coming up. But first, a scoreboard update. Cardinals in the bottom of the fourth give up two thus far with two outs and a runner on first for the pitcher Sean Markham. It's five to two Redbirds. Yep. Brewers, of course, lead that series one to nothing. Scoreboard update brought to you by Tony Wilt, State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance financial service needs, visit your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt, 42nd Street. In Mount Vernon, of course, there at the intersection of South Water Tower Place. Walk in, call in, or click in like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Bean Insurance postgame shows coming up next. This is Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is credit, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. 
Banjara is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banjara as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banjara, thinking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Does this sound familiar? I can't stand this job. I just wish I had time to go back to school. But with work and family... I know. I just enrolled in Rend Lake College's evening cosmetology program. They have evening classes that will even fit into your busy schedule. You can even graduate in less than two years. Classes are convenient to get to. and They're in Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. They even offer financial aid. What's it like? I've been out of school so long. It's not your typical take notes. Listen to a lecture program. We will learn the latest styles and trends in cosmetology and it Looks like we'll have fun doing it. We'll be out on the salon floor getting hands-on experience and getting to know all kinds of people. By the time we're done, we'll be ready to jump into a new career and love our job. For once. Okay, how do I sign up? I called 618-242-8459, but you can also check out their website at rlc.edu slash studio rlc or stop by the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. Hi, Roy Schmidt at Ford Square in Mount Vernon. The 2012 Ford Focus goes beyond fun and enjoyable. In the Focus, you will discover a dynamic design and an addictive driving experience and technology and interior ergonomics that wrap around and plug you into something that is definitely more than just a car. We have a great selection of the 2012 Ford Focus in stock at Ford Square and ready for immediate delivery. Also, expect up to 40 miles per gallon on the highway. The 2012 Ford Focus is a new sedan you definitely want to check out. At Ford Square, Mount Vernon, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where the best never rest. My brother Paul was a real Renaissance man a big city ER doctor, an outdoorsman, and always the smartest person in the room. When he was killed in a deer vehicle collision, I thought it was a freak accident. But I was wrong. Each year, deer vehicle crashes cause death, damages, and injury. And about one in every hundred drivers is likely to have a collision with a deer. For tips to avoid hitting a deer, visit erieinsurance.com. A message from the Bean Insurance Agency and Erie Insurance. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX. The Bean Insurance Postmatch Show starts now. And welcome back to Shagnon Gymnasium. Disappointing night for the Lady Rams Volleyball team. They fall to the Florida Wolf Gals in straight sets. 23-25, 24-26. This is the Bean Insurance Postgame Show. Level the playing field with Bean Insurance in Mount Vernon with a multitude of the top-rated companies to choose from. Bean Insurance might just be able to get you better coverage. At a better rate, stop by Bean Insurance or give them a call at 242-6017. That's 242-6017. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski for this Bean Insurance post-match show. Danny, disappointment here on Senior Night. Yeah, it is. I mean, it was such a tough game. I mean, both teams played hard, played well. However, you just got the feeling that Mount Vernon just couldn't get anything going. I mean, it was kind of a choppy game, as we mentioned, during the two sets. Time Mount Vernon would do something, and Flora would battle back. Flora would give some points away. Mount Vernon would get one or two, but... Just couldn't get anything going. And the service tonight, service department from Mount Vernon, uh, 10 for 19 in the first set getting points, only 10 of 18 in the second set getting points. So on the evening, Mount Vernon was only able to score 20 points out of 37 serves. So you're not going to do much that way for let Mount Vernon hang around. However, at the end, Flora was just too much, 25, 23, and 26, 24 over Mount Vernon. What I need to tell you about in the Heartland County post-match stats, those are coming up. This is the Bean Insurance post-match show, and don't forget at Bean Insurance, they have a multitude of the top-rated companies to choose from, which again means I just be able to get you better coverage at a better rate. Stop by or call Bean Insurance, 242-6017, 242-6017. Those Heartland County post-match stats are coming up. This is the Bean Insurance post-match show on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Isn't it great to live in a community where people give back and try to improve our area for the next generation? That's what we believe in and why our name, Community First, reflects its core value. If you would like to enjoy a personal relationship with your bank, make the move to Community First Bank and find out what community banking means. Simply stated, we are neighbors helping neighbors. Community First Bank, with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodland, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. 
Hey, are you thinking of starting your own business? Or maybe you already own your own business and have tax questions. Call Heartland Accounting today. At Heartland Accounting, we specialize in small business planning. Let us help you with your business bookkeeping, sales taxes, payroll taxes, or maybe just some solid business advice. Get started right and let us help you make your business a success. Call Heartland Accounting at Mount Vernon today at 244-7077 or stop by 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B. This is your home for Rams Radio, WMIX. And welcome back, Shagnon Jim, WMIX online at MyWithersRadio.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zawinski, Jeff Crow with us back at the studio. It's Avery Barton here for your Bean Insurance post-match show. Bean Insurance, level the playing field. With the multitude two of the top-rated companies to choose from, Bean Insurance might just be able to get you better coverage at a better rate. Stop by or call Bean Insurance, 242-6017. That's 242-60. 17. Danny Zawinski alongside with your Heartland Accounting post-match stats. Yeah, the stats are as followed for Mount Vernon as you roll across the board. Brooke Moore had one ace, two assists, 12 digs in the match. Molly Kester had one dig. Lauren Keeler had nine digs and a kill. Kelby Cuyava had an ace, a block, eight digs and four kills. Aaliyah Palmer, four assists, five digs, one kill. Taylor McGowan, five blocks, two digs, four kills. Mallory Kirsch, one ace, three digs, two kills. Kirsten McGowan had one kill, and Cheyenne Morgan had an ace. For Mount Vernon, the Lady Rams fall tonight by a final score, 25-23 and 26-24. Help Heartland, let Heartland Accounting help make your business a success. Heartland Accounting, they can take care of all of your financial and accounting needs. 3,000 Broadway Suite 2B in Mount Vernon. Of course, these stats tonight calculated by Heartland Accounting. Appreciate them each and every time out. Not much left to do here from Shagnon Gymnasium. Final scores, of course, were 23-25, 24-26. Lady Rams fall in straight sets to the floor of Wolf Gals. We have your committee first bank of the Heartland player of the game coming up. This is the Bean Insurance Post Game Show on WMIX. It's amazing how versatile the Saturday sports show has become. What do you mean you slept in last week? Set your alarm for 8.08 this Saturday morning at Junior Radio to AM 940. More Mount Vernon Rams talk, more Jefferson County talk, and more amped up coverage of Southern Illinois sports. Hear from the best coaches, experts, and sports know-it-alls available. Sports talk worth waking up for. Saturday morning from 8.08 till 10 a.m. on WMIX AM 940 and online at mywithersradio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Things sure are changing in the Jefferson County banking market. Branches are closing, and recent news by Bank of America that they will begin charging for debit cards is not what their customers would like to hear. Well, good news. We still have free debit cards, and our debit cards support Jefferson County schools. So don't panic. Just stop by and open an account with us. With people who answer the phone and help you with all your banking needs, we're the best banking option in Jefferson County. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember FDIC. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Volleyball on WMIX. Time for the Community First Bank of the Heartland Player of the Match. And welcome back to the Bean Insurance Post Match Show. Chris Hugo with Dane Zawinski alongside as the Lady Rams fall in straight sets tonight. By a final of 23-25 and 24-26. Time now for your committee first bank of the Heartland player of the match. Danny, who is it? Well, I think on a night with a final home game of the sea, it's not you, Jeff Crow. I'm sorry that we'll go with the seniors tonight on their final home match in their careers here at Shagnon Gymnasium. There you have it. They do fall here tonight on a disappointing senior night, but they're back in action tomorrow against Marion at Cus Wilson Gym. Where there are two of the freshmen get it started at about 5.15. We'll be on the air for the varsity match with audio streaming on MyWithersRadio.com. We hope you'll join us as the Lady Rams travel to Marion tomorrow night for a South 7 Conference showdown. Again, your finals here tonight in the varsity match. Of course, it was 23-25 and 24-26 for the varsity Lady Rams in a loss. Freshman win in three sets tonight, 17-21, 21-15, 15-5. JV wins 16-25, 25-21, 25-21. One. That'll do it for us here tonight. For Danny Zerwinski, for Jeff Crow, for Avery Barton, back at the studio, and for everyone at Withers Broadcasting. Thank you for listening to Lady Rams Volleyball. Back at it tomorrow. I'm Chris Hugo. Good night.